On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit PDFs right here on my Mac using free built-in software you can find in your operating system. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I've opened up this PDF here on my desktop, and as you can see, the default is opened with Preview. It's a free software on your Mac OS, and it basically allows you to view multiple file formats. It actually also has a built-in editor and allows you to do all sorts of really great stuff right here in Preview. Now, most of these PDF editors cost quite a bit of money, actually, if you download the software, so using these basic tools can be really helpful. All right, let me show you just a couple of really great features. So once you've opened up your PDF, you can come up here and click on the little edit button. This gives us a little drop-down menu with all sorts of basic options that we can use. So let's say you want a text box. What we can do is click over here. As you can see, this opens up a little box down here that we can then move. Once you see that hand, let's say we can move it up here. If you click inside the text box, we can manipulate that text using this drop-down menu. So as you can see, we have multiple fonts to choose from. We have color we can choose from. Let's do black. And then we have bold, or even you can adjust the uh, size and where the text uh, actually is lined up with. So again, great little options right here in adding text and text boxes to your PDF. One of the other things that we can do is actually add a signature line. So once you click on this, you'll actually have signatures that you have imported. You can click on that and then click anywhere on the document and have that signed. It's a pretty cool little tool. Uh, we also have a shape option. So you, as you can see, we can do arrows, we can do boxes, we can do a little speech uh, text. And this little guy will pop up. You can actually move this around and add it as notes onto a specific PDF. Again, at this point, we can even bring the text over here if we wanted to. We do need to move this on top. So as you can see, I, I right-clicked on this area. I'm gonna bring it uh, forward. Or we can actually send this guy to the back. Click OK. And then as you can see, that updates with the text on top. So again, cool little options for adding notes and things like that. Again, we have our text box, we have our signature box. If we click on this, we have a really big note that comes up and we can actually write right on top of that uh, post-it note there. Once you're done, you can click out of these boxes. Again, you can resize these and we can just move this around and place it on various areas of our document if we like. We can actually come over here and use our draw tool. If I click on that, we'll have a pen that comes up. Again, it's gonna be in this specific color. But we can move that around and actually write on here. This is another great way of adding a signature if you like. Again, this style of line will show up. You can see it's kind of, uh, looks like distressed. This is based off of these styles that we have right here. So if I wanted to uh, make this more of a dotted line, I can do that. I can actually take that off as well and it'll go back to a fully solid uh, line. You can change the thinness, all sorts of good stuff there. Again, if any of these elements you wanna delete at a later time, just make sure you're highlighted on them. Let's go back to this box. I'm gonna highlight that and click delete. So again, as you can see, there's all sorts of fun little tools that you can use here in the editing feature for PDFs. It's a free software. It's right within preview on your Mac. Play around with it, see what you like. Hopefully this helps. If this has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button for us. Let's know we're making helpful videos for you guys and subscribe because we're making a ton more of these PDF document type editing videos with all sorts of other tips and tricks as well as all sorts of other built-in features on your Mac that you may not even know exist. Thanks for watching friends and we'll see you again on the next one.